now we've had uh, dealt with a series uh, has entitled they've been entitled servant leadership, and we want to go back and revisit that servant leadership. The Lord has spoken to me to stay right there until he is finished. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to be obedient. Amen. I'm going to stay right there until he says otherwise. Amen. If you would, turn with me to John chapter 13. We're going to use that as our base scripture. You may stay seated this morning. I'm going to use it as our base scripture today. However, we know that we have been teaching from Mark chapter 10. Um, we have been teaching from Mark chapter 10. But if you would turn with me to John chapter 13. I'm going to try to do this in 15 minutes. Amen. Amen. I think I'm going to have to move around because I'm getting some recoil. But the Bible says, Now before the feast of the Passover, Jesus knew that the hour, his hour had come to depart from the world, having loved his own who were in the world. He loved them to the end. During supper, when the devil had already put into the heart of Jesus Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given him all things into his hand. Here's the key thing. Jesus already knew that the Father had given him all things in his hand. So, so, so when you know that God has already blessed you, equipped you for the work, <laughs> then, then the obstacles that, that, that show up shouldn't phase you. Unless you are uncertain about yourself. Yeah. See, when you are confident in who you are, yeah. and when you know that who you who you serve has all power yeah. in his hand, yeah. and that he's is by his power and by his might yeah. and by his ability, then you don't have to worry about your ability. Yeah. See, all you have to do is be obedient. Yeah. See, because Moses is stuck. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But he was obedient. Yeah. Oh, we can talk about yeah. it all day. But he says, now, listen, he says, now, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hand and that he had come from God and was going back to God, he knew his mission, he knew his purpose. He knew his purpose. Uh, and, and so forth, now he rose from supper, he laid aside his outer garments and taking a towel, tied around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter who said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? Mm -hmm. Jesus answered him, what I'm doing, you do not understand now, but afterwards you will understand. Peter said to him, you shall never wash my feet. <laughs> Jesus answered him and said, well, if I do not wash your feet, you have no share with me. In other words, I come to serve, and if you can't understand that and you can't allow me to serve you, then, then, then buddy, you can't have a part of this. If you, if, if you cannot develop an attitude to serve and understand that we have come to serve, then, 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 then basically uh, you're in the wrong field. Because I didn't come to be served, but allow me, Peter, to wash your feet. I'm trying to teach you something here. Allow me to wash your feet. And Jesus asked him, if I do not wash your feet, then you have no share with me. So I appear to understand. I like what he says. He, he immediately said, then, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Lord, Lord since you're blessing me, why don't you go ahead and bless me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet? Because just one touch. God, I got to stay focused here. And so it says, now, listen, Lord, not only my feet, but my head. But watch what Jesus said to him. Jesus said to him, the one who has bathed do not need to wash yeah. except for his feet. Yeah. But is completely clean and you are clean. But not every one of you. Jesus knew. Yeah. It was no secret. Yeah. 
See, let me tell you something. God places people in your life for a reason. Yes. Uh, come on, somebody. Yeah, See, you, sometimes yeah. you're rebuking Jesus when you think you're rebuking the devil. Amen. Because if God yeah. placed uh, people in your life to get you to a certain place. Yes. <laughs> See, when you know that God has placed yeah. Christ knew that God had placed all things in his hand. So what Jesus was about to do wasn't going to shake him up. It was already a part of that because the Bible tells us that when he came out of the wilderness, he handpicked the twelve. The problem is with us, we get we, we get twisted, we get confused, we get discouraged because we haven't spent no time in prayer. Oh See, you gotta turn the TV off. Uh-oh. You, you gotta turn stuff off to shit and, and, and close your gates to that worldly stuff so that then you can be sensitive Amen. to the spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Judas was just a devil helper, that's all. Yeah. He was just a devil helper. Yeah. The next time somebody come to you talking crazy, yeah. just say, bless them, they just helping the devil. Yeah. 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 Lord help them, they yeah. just helping the devil. Yeah. They're just the devil helper. Yeah. Hallelujah. But how many of you know that it was, it was ordained to, to, to fulfill that Christ would go and fulfill his mission at the cross. So what he, what he says now, he says now, listen, he says now, uh, all of you are not clean. But for he knew uh, who was to betray him. That was why he said, not all of you are clean. When he had washed the feet, he put on his, on his outer garment and resumed his place. And then he said to them, do you understand what I have done? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I did, your Lord and teacher have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. And this is what I want you to understand. For I have given you an example that you also should do just as I have done to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, watch this. I, this is my title. I'm taking my text right here. Blessed are you if you do them. How many of you are blessed this morning? Blessed are you if you do them. I need to let somebody know that I know that somebody has been pumping your head up. And I know that they like the way you dress, and I know they like the way that you know what you do, but you are no greater than the next person. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Oftentimes, oftentimes, God uses folk who, 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 who people look over. And so I need you to understand that some somebody in here this morning, you're going through. And you feel like, well, I'm not worthy because I, I've done this out of place and I've done that. I've been through this. God wants to use you. You know why? Because we, because you don't give him the glory. See, folks who already got it going on, they tend to take God's glory. They'll say, well, you know, I did it because, uh, uh. You, you, ever, you, ever, you ever watch somebody, you give them praise, and they just start cheesing? <laughs> like, yeah. But watch somebody who's humble. When you give them some praise, they be like, no. I don't need to be out front. And that's, that's, that's the people that God uses. He uses folk. He uses folk who are so humble that they know when it's all said and done that God gets the glory. Stop thinking that you got to qualify yourself. See, some of us think that we got to qualify ourselves to be used by God. God does not often call the qualified, but he qualifies those. He calls them. So it is now. We, we talked about how uh, the, the guys who who, who, who just uh, James and John who wanted the highest places of honor, and we talked about how they after Jesus has promoted them, the twelve tribes to sit on the twelve thrones, how they went back and said, "Listen, listen, yeah. we got something we want you to do for us. If you don't mind, can I sit on the right hand yeah. and my brother on the left?" Right. And God tells them, "Now listen, that 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 this listen. Are you able to drink from the cup?" And are you able to be baptized in the baptism I'm about to be plunged in? And he says later on, he says, indeed you are. However, to give you those places of honor is not my, it's not my doing. Can I tell you that, listen, what God has for you is for you. No devil in hell can take what God has for you. So, 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 so can we go ahead and, and, and agree 
that, that we're going to stop jocking other folks' yeah. positions? Yeah. Yeah. Can we go ahead and agree that we're going to stop trying to steal somebody else's shine? Because until you are happy over mine, God can't bless you with yours. Oh, I wish I had somebody. I got about five more minutes. Let me share with you that we talked about uh, moving from a servant's heart uh, to uh, serving leadership, moving from uh, self uh, until servant, moving from mine uh, until ours, and moving from uh, a position of power, a, a swollen head, uh, to, to be, being truly a God servant. Because the Bible says that now Jesus told them, why do you think that Jesus told them that, listen, you've seen the godless rulers who throw their weight around? Why do you think he said that? Because he knew that he was going to have some folk yeah. 2,000 years later yeah. that get in positions and throw their way around. Yeah. Then he goes back and he says to them, he says, now, now you've seen that. He said, you've also seen people that get positions yeah. and it goes to their head. Yeah. 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 Woo. It goes to their head. And then they want to throw their way around yeah. with the big head. And we yeah. talk about don't get the big head. Because the very platform that you build for yourself is the very one that God will chop down and you got to go back to the same folks. Y'all ain't talking about this yeah. So can we talk about it just for five more minutes? I know we got to go. Uh, uh, we, we got to cut this thing short this morning. But God said, said he said, now Stacy, listen, I need you to stay on leadership yeah. until I tell you to leave. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah, right. And so I'm going to be obedient to God. Yeah. Yes. But look what happens here. I, I want to share a few things and then we're going home. Uh, well, he, he, here's one thing that I need you to understand is that the washing of the feet were for folk yeah. who were the lowest ranking yeah. in the room. See, today I want to deal with the washing yeah. of the feet. Yeah. Because it was for the lowest person in the room. In other words, when folk uh, went looking for jobs who were, who were not as wealthy yeah. or who were the poor folk, when they went looking for jobs, they, they, they looked for the wealthy people to then go and, and, and how, uh, uh, to offer uh, to get a job. And so what happens now is uh, they would become the lowest ranking person in the house or on the job. And so nine times out of ten, really one of the most humiliating jobs that they would have was to wash the guest's feet. <laughs> Because understand now that we're talking about the terrain that Jesus himself and the disciples walked in. Uh, and so it is that they walked in sandals and washing of the feet was something that was very powerful and very popular. And so it was, if you got the job of washing folk feet, then you were, huh, mm, you were humiliated. Or, or, or it was a humiliating position. But watch the one who they call Lord and teacher how is it then that he humbles himself to wash feet? They talked about how if, 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 if the person who was hired to wash feet was not there, then the lowest ranking person in the room. But what does Jesus do? Jesus then takes off his garment, wraps a towel, and begins to wash feet. He ain't washing feet just to be washing feet. He's trying to tell you, listen, I come to serve. And I'll get ready to give you an example of when I'm called to the Father. What you should do. Don't get it twisted. Don't get the bowl of water. Don't get the towel and start washing your feet in the church as a symbolic. I'm talking about serving. Look at the symbolism for him serving. He said, for those who want to be great must first serve. If you want to be great, you've got to first serve. Why is it then? Why is it? That folk always want to be uh, uh, have their uh, name called. Yeah. 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 Why is it then that uh, this is my show? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I put this on. Yeah. Now, it's all about me. Huh? It's all about me. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, if um, if, if y'all ain't gonna do it my way, I ain't coming. Yeah. 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 Sidebar. Yeah. Jesus don't need you. Yeah. Good God yeah. If you go be selfish, then God will, will replace you. Yeah. See, see, Judas was selfish. Yeah. Judas sold him out for some coins and then hung, his, hung himself and then he was replaced. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Y'all ain't talking back to me this morning. Let's, 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 let's look at 
look at this now. Can I have five more minutes? We got to get out of here. Uh, those who are watching by YouTube, we got to go because we're, we're having a service uh, home going. But let me just tell you something. I want to leave you with this one point. Uh, God, this thing is so heavy. I wish I could deal with it like I want to. But there was a question raised in Bible study. Did Jesus wash the, uh, Judas' feet? Good discussion. And we found out that, yes, he did wash his feet. And so now that indicates to me then that even your enemies, you got to serve. You got to serve. Even the one who trying to kill you. You got to serve even the one that is scandalizing your name. You got to serve even the one that's got a knife in your back. You got to serve. Let's go. 